Hi, this is Dr. Alex C. I'm back. Now, we will continue where we left off, but uh, opening the uh, same uh, block diagram that we have used since the last program, the traffic controller here is not the simple sequence programming has been changed. I'm going to change the name since we are working on the classic uh, state machine, right? So let's uh, make it a proper name. So this is a traffic light using the what we call the CSM, uh, classic state machine. Now what is a classic state machine? Now basically what we do is that we can do some modification to this program. Uh, instead of uh, using the, uh, the, because of the limitation of using a sequence structure, we are going to convert this into a case structure instead. Okay, then I'm going to just uh, explain to you what is the advantage of using this particular type of a classic state machine and uh, so to begin I hope everybody is on the same page now we should see something like this and if I toggle view to the front panel you should see something like this where you have a stop button you have the three LEDs for the traffic light you have the type definition enum which is here all right and uh, okay now let's proceed further now, uh, what we have here is the uh, while loop. The outermost is the while loop. I'm going to add a shift register. As you can see over here, I'm going to add a shift register to this uh, while loop. All right. Now, and uh, what I can do is also I can select this uh, type definition enum. I'm going to right click on it and uh, I'm going to create a constant. Okay. Now, so what it means is that uh, in this uh, constant here we have all the different states we can examine all the different states if you can go to view go to your tools palette okay use your uh, operator value or the finger tool I call you can select and you can see that all the different states are reflected well in this uh, type definition enum uh, you can see over here so what we can do now is uh, I see whether I hope this works okay select the uh, sequence structure all right select the sequence structure right click and let's try to do a conversion okay so i'm going to then select uh try to do it carefully uh use the tool called the replace tool i'm going to replace this entire block here the sequence structure the stack sequence structure uh with the this uh Thing called the replace with uh, case structure okay so select right click replace with case structure okay now you will notice that uh, this thing entire sequence has been changed to be a uh, case uh, has been changed into a case structure now let's try and see, uh, I'm going to wire the output of this uh, enum constant into the shift register and uh, wire this shift register to the case selector here. The case selector is represented by a blue color question mark over here. So I'm going to wire this thing up as shown. Ah, so you can see that we have all the different uh, cases. Okay, but now this is a case structure itself, uh, no longer a sequence structure. So we have all the uh, the names of the different traffic light states, uh, from all off, green on, to so on and so forth. Uh, right, it's all labeled in a very nice uh, text base. Uh, so for it's a very human readable in a sense. So now we are almost kind of done. We have did very little uh, modification at this point in time. So what all I did was I wired the enum to the uh, shift register and wired the output of this shift register to this thing called the case selector. The case selector is shown in this blue uh, color uh, question mark here. So now what I need to do is now to uh, control the state machine accordingly. So the idea of having the shift register here is to hold the states. Huh? The traffic light states so this uh, in a sense uh, I'm going to type the text here this is what I call the initialization uh, initialization state uh, because all off is the first state right I'm going to just type a comment here 
Okay, this is the initialization state called the all of. Huh? So if I can use the text label and I can just point to this. Okay, so this is the initialization state. Now, uh, the next state, now after the program enters into the first case uh, called the all of case, which is the first state. Now, you have to put in additional information here. This is called the transition code, uh, which is this missing space here. All right. Now, we need to put in the next state to tell the state machine to go where to go next. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to copy this uh, e type definition enum and bring it into here now what tell uh, the next state after all of will be green on right so i'm going to select using the operator tool or the finger tool to move this uh, selection to green on and i'm going to wire this output of this green on to the shift register on the right hand side okay now notice that uh, there's a tunnel here which is shown in white in color which means that uh, it is not complete completed yet because you have other cases to take into consideration so but uh, what it does here as you can see is that uh, let view now knows right I'm going to bring this label here and I'm going to call this the next state okay now so it is is vital and it's very important to then put in this thing called the uh, uh, transition code uh, which is uh, in this case uh, just the next state you need to tell let view where to go next eh, because the next state uh, value will be passed on to this uh, she register here okay now so on the next iteration or the next cycle this next value green on for example will be stored to the front of the she register over here so it's an iterative process where the values get retained in the she register and it is a sort of a persistent storage. Huh? So the next value will then be passed on to this case selector in which this case structure will switch case to the next case and so on. So to complete this program, what I do is I'm going to copy these two items here and hold on to the control key on your keyboard and left click and drag the items out uh. I'm going to proceed to the next state which is green on okay uh, hold on uh, green on I'm afraid okay this is green on right I'm going to move this over to this side and I'm going to copy this items into the state the green on uh, state uh, because I know that after green on the next state will be called delay on green so I'm going to continue to wire the delay on green to the shift register as shown over here. Then I will go on to delay on green and then to tell let view the next state. So I'm going to just do a copy and paste over here. So after delay on green, it should go to uh, green off uh, amber on. Okay, I'm going to wire this as shown over here. Okay, so after delay on green, I know that the next state will be green off amber on. Okay, so I'm going to proceed on to the next uh, case as well. Notice that it's going to be quite mechanical in a sense. I'm just going to uh, pass on the next state information. So after green off amber on, I know it's going to be a uh, delay on amber, right? I'm going to wire this to the tunnel. Okay and then proceed to the next one so uh, after delay on amber what is the next state well obviously the next state is going to be uh, uh, amber off right amber off red on okay i'm going to wire this to the tunnel as well so this is the next state huh? after delay on amber the next state will be amber off uh, red on Okay, so I'm going to proceed on to the next case. After amber off red on, right? I'm going to move this uh, into here. It would be presumably after amber off red on, it would be delay on red. Okay, delay on red. I'm going to wire this thing here. Okay, so after amber off red on, it will be delay on red. 
So I'll go on to the next case. After delay on red, this process will repeat. Eh? After delay on red, eh, this process will repeat. So it is going back to the first state again, which is the all off state. Eh? So, okay. So just take note. Eh? After delay on red, the next state will be all off. So it's going back to the original. So this will be the last one. I'm going to bring this in. And it is going to go back to uh, all off after this machine will cycle through. Eh? Okay, now notice that after you have completed putting in all the correct states, uh, your this tunnel value here will no longer be white. Eh? It will turn blue. Eh? Okay, now also notice that there is no longer any more broken arrow. Right Earlier there was a broken arrow uh, because the program is not complete yet. And now we have completed the entire program. So please check the code. So let's go through again. So you have all off. So the very first state is the call the initialization state where it is value is passed to the she register. And this value gets uh, passed to the case selector in which the case structure will switch to the first case, which is called the all off case. And you will do the necessary coding here which is to switch off all the three LEDs to force value. And you will also provide what we call the transition code in the state machine. This is the transition part, uh, in which you will tell or you will inform the program, the lab view program, the state machine, to go to the next state, which is the green on state, as shown over here. So assuming it is the going on to the green on, so you can see in the green on state, you will uh, switch on the green color LED and at the same time, you will have to preempt or tell LabVIEW where to go next. The next state will be delay on green. Okay, so we will proceed to delay on green. Now in the delay on green, we will introduce the timer, which is the two second delay over here. And at the same time, it's uh, imperative that we will tell LabVIEW where to go next. So after delay on green, the next state will be green off, amber on, which is the next, right, the next appropriate state. Huh? And then moving on, so in the uh, green off, amber on state, we will do the switching here. The LED has to be uh, controlled. We will also proceed to tell that view the next state, which is delay on amber, as shown here. So, and moving on, uh, in the delay on amber, we will introduce the two second delay and also tell let view the next state, which is the amber off red on state. And then moving on, in the amber off red on, we will switch the LED on and off appropriately and then pass on to the next state, which is called delay on red. Okay, so in the delay on red, we are going to put the delay and go back to the original state, which is the all off state. All right. So let me just quickly switch you over to the uh, let view uh, front panel and we will try to run this program. I'm going to click the run button and I hope the LED uh, traffic light controller should be operating in this correct uh, sequence. Huh? So it seems okay. I have the correct sequence from green transiting to amber, amber transiting to a uh, red state uh, with a two second uh, timer interval in between the states, uh, switching states. So all this looks pretty good. Uh, I will move you back to the uh, let view block diagram. Perhaps I can, uh, a good way to study this code here is to switch on the highlight execution. Uh. Okay, the highlight execution, which I'm going to click now. Uh, I would strongly recommend students to uh, switch this on so that you can see the uh, so-called um, code in action uh, if you like. Uh. So you can see that the code actually does what is supposed, what is the intended uh, uh, practice or the movement of the code uh, in the lab view part. Okay, so everything seems to be working in the right order. Okay, and after the all off state, it goes back to the first state again, all off. And this process will pros will continue on and on until the user click the stop button. So the last thing I want to demonstrate to you is that uh, what happens if the user click the stop button? Now, uh, let me show you. Now, the program will be able to terminate immediately. 
So if I click the stop button uh, and move it back to the uh, block diagram here, you will notice that uh, because at every iteration, right, lab view is able to read the status of this value, the stop value here from iteration to iteration. So you will notice that uh, when I click the stop button, you can uh, try it out on your code. Huh? You, the lab view program will terminate almost instantaneously, unlike the earlier machine where we created using the sequence structure, uh, whereby the program cannot stop immediately and has to complete the full cycle. Okay, so there's a really a strong advantage using this uh, kind of a state machine programming architecture. Okay, because uh, the, lab, the, the code itself can be terminated uh, almost instantaneously. Because uh, what happened is, uh, as I mentioned, the stop value uh, is constantly being read by the program. Okay, after each iteration of the code. Alright, I think I've come to the end of the uh, part on the classic state machine. Uh, if you are able to follow me through, I think you are doing a great job as well. So uh, you should uh, give yourself a clap, huh? give yourself an applause. So I will stop my recording for now and we will proceed on to later part on the Q uh, state machine huh? called the QSM. Thanks for watching.